Hey, if you're watching this video, then you're probably not subscribed, because over 85% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button, because it really helps. Okay, enjoy the video. Alright, Whitney. Will my sub bulk up stats work? Can we get a drink of water real quick? Okay, so I'm hoping she's just gonna go for a track turn one. That's what my hope is, and then we set and we set up a sub. A track goes through sub since fucking when? Since when? What? It literally doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It does? Oh my god, that's so fucked, dude. I didn't know. I thought it got blocked by Protect like every other status move. Every other kind of status move that affects you gets blocked by sub. Why does a track not? Oh my god. Okay, well, that's... We're fucked now. Yeah, there goes that strategy. Well, I really don't know what to do now. It's probably just going to go for body slam. I guess I might as well stay in and just go for the double kick. And just... Because I might as well. My, my sub's going to take a hit for me anyway. I just hope I break through it and I can at least hit the lock tongue down low. Nope. Oh! It's trying to it's trying to disable. Wait, can I go for a bulk up? Is it just gonna be dumb and try and disable me? Oh now he goes for it. Fuck. Oh it didn't break it. Oh please. Please at least give me this. No. Why would I ever? I just cannot believe out of the... how many tons? Three out of four tons I was immobilized by love. And then she crits me immediately once my sub is down. You just have to love that. Un-fucking believable, dude. Well, I might as well go to Kaido and Intimidate it. Is it going to go for a tract? Yes. And then it just goes for Body Slam when I switch? Okay, sure game. Yeah, sure. Makes a lot of fucking sense. Yeah. To the game totally didn't, like, just knew that I was going to switch there or anything. Randomly disables me. If I fire punch, it's gonna put her in range to heal. I don't want to go to anybody else in case this thing just fucking paralyzes me, though. I don't want any of my other ones getting paralyzed by this fucking thing. How is this still not fucking broken? I mean, I've been disabled for like four turns. Alright, I'll take that. Well, that's one Pokemon down. 
Only four, only five more to go when I have basically only four Pokemon left. Please just jump kick. Dumbass. Thank you. I'm assuming you're just going to charge beam me, but I'm going to protect just to play it safe. Oh fuck, I forgot I was so confused. That could have went badly. Okay, so let me switch now and then it'll just randomly not go for that move anymore. Um... Well, I can't go to Wukong because it has Water Pulse as well, and Scarf's nearly dead, so we kind of have to just go to Yokozuna here. Okay, thank god that didn't do a lot. Well, at least I can knock off you to get rid of your stupid Citrus Berry. Quick Claw, you're the best. Why did that do nothing? What the fuck? Okay, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Kinda wanna try and stall out the reflex. I guess I could go- I guess actually, after this, she'll probably go to Wigglytuff or Stantler. Because they have psychic moves. And I can just... If it's Wigglytuff, we'll have to go to Kaido. If it's Stantler, we'll have to go to Sunny. I guess Knockoff is the old dog up here. It must not be buffed in this game, which I actually did not realise. Yeah, it's garbage. Man, a lot of the stuff that was buffed... is buffed in, like, Renegade Plan and stuff just isn't in this, so... There's actually not a lot of changes to this game in terms of, like, Pokemon moves and all that stuff. Very, very few changes compared to how big Renegade Platinums were. Um, that's fine. Breakthrough, please. That's fine. Sweet. Okay, work light off. You are going to use Psychic. Uh, so we have to go to Kaido here. What I could do here is go to Kaido, get off one Dragon Rage, and then switch to Sunny to beat the Ice Beam, and go into Yokozuna, and then maybe hope that Fake Out plus and the Reflect should be gone by then, and then hope that a that Fake Out plus Arm Thrust will be enough to kill Wigglytuff from there. I think that's the play here. I was just going for Psychic, it's not even trying to attract me. Okay. Um, now it goes for attract. Um. Ooh, hold on. That's risky. Ah, uh, we're not even- we, I, we, I think this thing just barely outspeeds us anyway. I was gonna say I could risk going for- Going for Encore on the attract and then we could go to Scarf to kill this thing, but... It's too, it's too risky. Let's go to Yokozuna on the Ice Beam, which it should go for, because we are weak to it. We're thick fast, so we should do like nothing. Actually, that works as well, I think. Ooh, actually. Hold on, how much damage is what I'm... Did the Reflect wear off yet? I don't actually know. It should have, right? Okay, just went for Wish again for some reason. Okay, I'm fine with the AI being dumb. Works for me. The Stantler. Intimidate. 
Okay, this thing's going to Zen Headbutt and it's also Physical Attacker. I would love to get Kaido out on this thing to intimidate it, but it might do a bit too much damage to us, I'm not gonna lie. 21. Yeah, you know, having a, having a Gyarados with like two defense IVs and a minus defense nature, kinda bad for using for an intimidate Pokemon. Zen Headbutt should only do 23, but let me just double check the stat that hasn't been buffed in this game. Okay, its attack is buffed, but only by a little bit. Zen Headbutt should only do 20 to 24 after the Intimidate. Now the issue is, after that, it will be low, we will be low enough that it could be random move whether it stomps or Zen Headbutts. I think either way, we got his Sunny. I'm hoping what will happen. Okay, here's what I'm hoping. We go, his, we go to Kaido and we intimidate as it goes for Zen Headbutt. We'd live. It goes for Stomp or Zen Headbutt to, just to get the kill because we're low enough and we switch to Sunny. We then go for. We try and Encore in the hopes that he either stomps or. Either we Encore him and he stomps so that he can't Zen Headbutt Yokozuna. Or we encore him into Attract or Hypnosis. I guess Attract would be better. If we encore him into Attract. And then we can switch to Scarf. And then Scarf can actually kill this thing. And then Yokozuna can be left healthy. Um, for helping to deal with the Mill Tank. You know what, that works. That means Kaido actually might be able to come in and intimidate the uh, the Mel Tank. Okay, so you're definitely going to go for Stomp. I'm going to go to Sunny. Or you're going to have Gnosis. Okay. Kind of annoying, not going to lie. Kind of annoying. Um... I'm here at minus one stomp troll, I'm not gonna be doing a ton to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just sit here and try and soft boiled. Actually did a good chunk. We actually somehow broke through the flinch and attract. I don't know how. I think I'm going to try and get one Encore off, and if it doesn't work, we'll just immediately switch. And I'm just going to hope that a minus one Yokozuna can take us in head, but I should probably, like, hold on. <sighs> I mean, the Stomp's not doing a ton to me. I probably would be fine to just go for the one Encore, try and go for it. Because if I switch now, I'm going to be taking a Stomp, and then a Zen Headbutt right after. And that might be dangerous. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one encore. Could have could have just couldn't have just messed the hypnosis. See that's gonna be the problem though, is if he's just gonna spam hypnosis. That's an issue. Please. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. You're really gonna give me the. I love how both. The only two times that my Quick Call is activated in this fight have been when I've used Fake Out. A priority move. Please, just go for the Zen Headbutt, or if you go for a, if either go for, he's either going to go for a Tract, which means we have to dodge, which means a f coin flip whether we kill, or he's going to go for Hypnosis, which means 30% chance to hopefully miss it, or he goes for Zen Headbutt, and we have to dodge the flinch. Either way, this is a nightmare. I'm assuming he's probably just going to go for a Tract. 
please. Oh, he missed! Finally! After three hypnosis, after hitting two hypnosis, finally missed one. Thank you. A bit of luck on my side for once. It's just the Meltang now. We actually may be able to just stay in and kill this thing. I may be able to two-shot it. Oh my god. Matt, this battle's a fucking been a nightmare from the start. Oh, right throw does minimum of 50%. The ideal strat might be Kaido to intimidate, Wukong, try and get a taunt off, and then Yokozuna kill it with two vital throws. That's like the best, like, that's the best strat we can have right now, I think. But the issue is, does Kaido actually live a body slam? Although it's probably going to go for a fucking attract, actually. So I'm probably safe to just switch in. To be honest. Okay, yeah. At minus one, we would love one anyway. So we definitely got Kaido to just get the Intimidate off. For sure. We'll probably go for... Oh, I actually just went for the body slam. Okay. Uh, Well, this is actually kind of nice, because now... It's gonna go for the body slam again, probably go for the kill, which means we don't have to worry about Wukong being attracted as soon as he comes in. I mean, it's gonna outspeed and attract us anyway. Um, but we switch to Wukong. Body slam. Okay, no paralysis, thank fucking god. <sighs> please. Please land. Please just let me taunt. Please. We're fucked. Oh, we broke through the paralysis and the retract. Holy shit. Okay. I just... I just need to land two... Two vital throws. I just need to land two vital throws. You fucker. You fucker. We crit! She's still alive! No! No! I lived on like one! How did that live? Are you kidding me? That should have been a minimum of 50%. That that should have been a, a guaranteed KO with a crit. She's already, I think she's already used her only potion because we've had her other Pokemon low before. How did it live? I don't understand. It's literally 50.5% minimum damage and we crit. How did it not kill? Like, actually, how? This thing must be, like, plus a plus defense nature. That's the only thing I can think. Okay, this is now an issue because her body slams are doing about 22. I think it's a roll whether we even... It's possibly a roll whether we love this or not. In fact, it is a roll. Her body slams do... 21 to 25. So it's a roll whether we even live. I don't even know if we attack here. Because... I don't even know whether... I mean, we have to attack. Everybody else is... Nobody else outspeeds this thing. So like, and everybody else is gonna die, and I don't know if she's just, if she's just, she might just heal with milk drink. If she just heals with milk drink, and we don't get paralyzed, then there's a chance we roll high enough to kill with vital throw. If she just goes for the attack, we can maybe live. <sighs> Fuck. She fucking does have a super potion. Are you serious? Okay. That's actually bad because now. Now she could just milk drink. I have to hope I, I just have to, I'd have to hope I get a high roll. She might just milk drink until she's hel until she's healthy, until I get fully paralyzed. How many? F no, come on, dude. How many fucking super potions does she have? I think she's literally healing. I'm just getting low rolls here. I must be getting low rolls. It's sooner or later I'm going to get fully paralyzed. 
after the milk drink and I'm just, and I'm just fucked. Please, high roll. I'm literally getting the same rolls. I'm not getting any high rolls. This is fucked up, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna either run out of PP or I'm gonna get paralyzed and then we're just fucked. Please. Please, somehow. He the god! The god! He somehow breaks through the paralysis and the attract! You fucking beast, Yokozuna! Holy shit! Fuck you, Whitney. Fuck you and all your attract bullshit. Oh my god.